progress made in the fight against COVID. The Prime Minister closes in on the reopening of churches and COVID leaves Bahamas here challenged. Good morning, everyone. I'm Akash Lopinder, and this is your morning edition. Compliance still a problem in fighting the pandemic. The country's COVID-19 response coordinator, Dr. Mersalyn Dow Regis, says health officials have still not been able to find a number of people in self-quarantine. We have their names, but we don't have the contact numbers, the telephone numbers for them. And that has been the challenge. And it still hovers between 13 and 15. His comments come on the heels of law enforcement officials tracking down the latest COVID case. And you may recall Hubcat Solution has been contracted to provide a 24-hour monitoring service for those in self-isolation. We've completed the the training in New Providence. Um, we should have completed the training in Grand Bahama, probably Dr. Bartlett can speak to that. And we hope to go live on Monday. Dr. Dow Regis also revealing at the time that there are more than 3,000 test kits in hand, but that this is just a component of the overall PCR testing. Although we have 3,000 um, tests on hand, we have um, fewer than 2,000 um, extraction kits and we're trying to get more. Uh, we do have adequate supplies of the other components for the PCR testing. We will always plan to have a reserve for acutely ill, symptomatic or suspect cases. So we must balance our outreach community testing, holding a reserve. So that is how we prioritize um, the community-based testing. And we must test all contacts as well. That said, a coronavirus test that returns results in just 20 minutes is trialed in the UK. Now, director of the National HIV AIDS and Infectious Disease Program, Dr. Nakia Forbes, admits a fast, accurate test is what's needed. But here's what she says must be considered. How good is the test? Does the test detect disease when it's there? And does it correctly identify when disease is not there? There are tests, such as the PCR test, there are some platforms where uh, test results can be available within an hour. We are looking into that. On the other hand, there are other faster tests that are serological tests, and up to this week there was a caution that one very well-known brand was not performing as well as we thought it would. However, you're absolutely correct. The key to moving forward in this new COVID-19 world is having a test that can identify disease accurately and quickly. We want to get there.